Hey, everybody. It's Bill. I promise. I just trimmed my beard. Um, we just got an update to SteamOS. Well, okay. We just got a preview build of SteamOS. For those of you that don't know, there's actually three levels that you can be on for SteamOS updates. You can either be on the stable channel, which means you get the all of the new features last, but that means you run into the fewest problems. Then there's the beta feature, which means you get the newer stuff a little sooner than the stable channel, but not as soon as the preview channel. Things might be a little wonky, but for the most part, it tends to work fine. And then there's the preview channel, where when you are on the preview channel, you are getting the brand new craziest features. And when those features come out, a lot of times they're broken. We just got a new feature that I think signals that the Steam Deck dock, the official docking station, will probably start shipping sooner rather than later. What is this new feature? Well, they've updated it so that you can now choose the resolution of the Steam Deck in docked mode. So I've got my Steam Deck docked, and I'm going to jump over to my Steam Deck. Uh, let me go ahead and connect my Xbox controller. Uh, and I'm going to use my Xbox controller to bring up the Steam menu, and you can see how slow and laggy that is. As I tab through, it is... It is just terribly slow in order to go through all of this stuff. So let's swap over to the preview build and see if it's any better. So what you do is you hit your Steam button. You're going to come down to Settings. Under Settings, you're going to come down to System. And then you can see here it says Software Updates, and then you have your System Update Channel. I'm going to switch from Beta over to Preview. And then it's going to ask me to restart. So I will say yes, and I will see you after we get back. Now, after your Steam Deck sits there for a little bit, finally, this screen is going to come up. Once it does, you're gonna to wanna to go right back into settings where you were before. So I'm gonna go ahead and bring up my settings and I'm going to go down to uh, the settings system and I'm going to check for updates. So I'll go ahead and hit check for updates. It's gonna check and see if there is a new update, which there should be because now I'm on the preview build instead of the beta build. And sure enough, here it is and here are the patch notes. Added external output resolution and refresh rate selection UI in display settings requires Steam client beta. Automatically avoids problematic resolutions like 4096 by 2160 or 30 hertz modes on external displays. I've run into that where I switched it into 30 hertz mode and immediately my capture card said, nope, I'm done. Uh, and then they also improved frame pacing when compositing, when you have FSR in enabled. So all of this is supposed to be really, really great. So I'm gonna go ahead and, whoops, I'm gonna go up to apply. I'm gonna hit apply. It's going to download the patch and I'm guessing that it's going to make me a restart again. So we'll be back right after that. But before we go, do me a favor. I am a Humble Bundle partner. If you're looking for awesome bundles of video games, there is a link in the description down below and if you use that, you are directly supporting the channel. All right, we'll be back after the download. Okay, we've got it back up now. Let's go ahead and take a look at the, the menus and see if we can figure out where everything is. So it's still a little, like I noticed there was a little hiccup there as soon as I hit it. Let me open up the settings. And I'm guessing it's under display. And sure enough, display scaling, it's got it at 3840 by 2160. I'm going to uh, set it down to this is a 16 by nine display, so it doesn't make any sense for me to do 1280 by 800, but I'm gonna get as close to that as I can. Actually, you know what, I'll try uh, 1920 by 1080, and we are going to keep those settings. So now it's at 1920 by 1080, and um, automatically scale image. What does that do? Let me turn that off. I can, oh, okay, there we go. So that just fills an image. I'll put it on automatic. And now let's see how it feels to go around the menus. That is so much better. This is a much, much better experience. Uh, let me go ahead and start up a game that can use, um, oh, that's weird. My monitor's currently saying out of range. I don't know why it's saying that. Like I can see everything on the monitor. Uh, oh, and, it, and now it's flashing at me, out of range. So maybe I need to pick a different resolution I can't show you that to you because the camera's currently pointed at me instead of the uh, the screen. So display, oh, it's back to 3840 by 2160. Let me turn off that automatic scaling 
And I'm going to try again to go 1080p. 1080p? 1920 by 1080? There it is. Keep settings. Now it says 1920 by 1080 at 60 hertz. My screen still says out of range. I'm gonna try taking a picture of it. Now I've got that picture and you can see it just says out of range for some reason, but I'm gonna go ahead and back out and I'm gonna try starting up a game that I know works uh, with the controller. And we'll use Cyberpunk 2077. One of the great things about this game is that first off it, it supports the controller and um, usually this would be a pretty big drain on the Steam Deck, but because I am uh, running it while it's docked, it's going to be charging at the same time. So this really, if if I can figure out this out of range thing, it may make it so that when I play a game like Cyberpunk 2077, it's more like a Nintendo Switch uh, where it just works. Now, if you notice, I've got black bars on the left and the right because it is it is outputting a resolution of 1280 by 800 instead of 1080p which is what i've got my system set at so that is not working properly right now so let me go ahead i'm not going to adjust the game i want to because the outer range is still on the screen so i'm going to try a different resolution and again that says 3840 by 2160. It seems like this is not working. 1280 by 800? Try it. And in Pacifica. Um, wait, I'm on display. Where's the Pacifica resolution? Still Pacifica. This has been your man, Stan. That is really strange. There, the resolution is gone. Like, the menu for it is completely disappeared now at this point. Boy, that's weird. But hey, guess what? It's preview. And if it's preview, that means that there's going to be problems. So I'll bet you this, whatever issue I'm having where I can't select the resolution myself, uh, I bet you that gets patched out because they did specifically say under display is where you would find that menu. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and start a game that I know supports uh, FSR. So I'll start up uh, Cyberpunk 2077. And once that game starts up, I will be back and we'll see how it looks when I am playing this docked. Remember that I am playing it docked at 1280 by 800 because I don't have access to that menu. You're probably going to want to play at 1280 by 720p or 1280 by or uh, 1920 by 1080. Uh, I think it's Steam and A. Yeah, Steam and A brings up your quick settings uh, if you are playing docked. And I'm going to come down here. I'm going to turn this stuff on so we can see the frame pacing. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming that frame count is what they're talking about when they say frame pacing, but hey, maybe I'm wrong about that. And I'm going to come down here and make sure FSR sharpness is turned on. Uh, actually, if I come down and turn off FSR... Oh, it, it is blowing it up a little bit. Wait, what resolution is this game running at? Oh, yeah, it's 7, 1152 by 720p, so... It is doing an upscaling. Let's see uh, how it runs. That's where I got to go next. I can't hear anything. Um, and I'm not sure why. Oh, the game does have audio, but I'm not here. Oh, I'm not hearing it because I don't have my headphones on. All right. There. I can hear the game now. Hopefully it wasn't loud while I was uh, doing stuff. Ooh, use technical ability. I don't have enough. Okay, I can't go in there right now. Let's just... I'm, it's a solid 30 frames per second, and I'm playing on a, on a TV. Now, are the graphics as good as if I were playing on my PC? Of course not. That's a ridiculous thing to, you know, to expect. But does it play good enough? I don't know. We'll see. I don't have enough brute force to take control of that car. Maybe this car? Hey, get back here. You got a stoplight? Can I steal his car? Nope. I can't steal his car either. Oh, what happened? Oh, I'm getting a phone call. Sorry, really gotta go. Sorry, really gotta go. Okay, I don't know. What in the heck? We were talking about... Since we're gonna work together, only right to... All right, I don't... I don't... They call me El Here, I'm gonna turn this down so that we're not spoiling stuff for you guys, because I don't know if you want to play that game or not. Um, But, I mean, hey, look at this. The frames are nice and stable. Uh, That is... 
I mean, sure, the lines are the frame time and the frame count are going up and down. They're wobbly, but they're fairly stable. Like they are not having huge dips and spikes all over the place, which that's a really good thing. I don't want to get distracted by the game, but hey, it looks smooth. And that's really what you're looking for. So I'm not sure what this was like on the beta build. Um, I will probably swap back to the beta build, actually, because the preview build is not quite there because I don't have access to these the settings that they said that I was going to have access to. And that's something that's really important because you're going to want to be able to set the resolution that you're looking for specifically. Uh, let me know what you guys think of this. Are you going to stay on the beta build? Are you going to move to the preview build? Or are you risk averse and you're going to go full stable all the way? Let me know in the comment section down below. And as always, if it's your first time here, please subscribe. From the Nerd Nest, I'm Bill.